welcome back. We are going to read chapter 10 of Two Dogs in a Trench Coat Go to School. So in chapter 9 we left off with Stuart, Sassy, and Waldo kind of in a pickle because Stuart was really sad and feeling upset about um, his project at school and so Sassy and Waldo want to go back to school to help Stuart. So here's chapter 10. Waldo and Sassy walk down the school hallway the next morning dressed as salty. Hello, duty, said Waldo. Hello, human student. Hello, other human student. Good morning, Mrs. Tui. What a lovely day to be learning things. Yes, it is, said Mrs. Tui. I see you're not wearing your school t-shirt. You're not wearing your school t-shirt either, said Waldo. We're twins. I teach better in this pantsuit said Mrs. Tui. The children have to see me as an authority figure. I always wear this Bay Author label pen to show my school spirit. That is a nice pen, said Waldo. You are a good teacher. Yes, I am, said Mrs. Tui. I know other teachers want my secrets or to take me down. They want to know my secrets and to take me down. Correct, said Waldo. Hmm. It is? asked Mrs. Tui. What do you know? Who are you? Did they send you from the Spy Academy two, dials, two miles down the road? Or are you on a mission from a secret group of teacher spies? I'm from Liver, Ohio. Uh-huh. Time for learning, said Waldo. The dogs walked into the classroom and took their seats next to Stuart. That morning, Mrs. Tui read the class's story. The students worked on multiplication problems. They wrote essays about insects and had a snack. The dogs did not know they had to bring a snack, so Mrs. Tui gave them pretzels. They ate the pretzels in the bag that pretzels came in. School is so much more fun than you said it was, said Waldo. You're only on day two, said Stuart. Is it like this every day? Pretty much. This is the most fun place said Waldo. Except we can't nap, said Sassy. Time for gym, said Mrs. Tui. Line up here and change into your sneakers if you need to. Who is Jim, said Waldo. Jim Class, said Stuart. Who is Jim Class? Is he a man who will give us sausages? No, no, it's exercising, running around, playing sports. This day keeps getting better and better, Jim Klaus. Gym class sounds amazing. The students walked in a line down to the gym, which was also the cafeteria. Waddo couldn't help smiling at the thought of it all and drooling a little. This room always smells incredible, said Waddo as he entered the gym. That's the attitude I like to see. You must be the new kid. The gym teacher was wearing a baseball cap that said, run until you barf, and had four whistles around his neck. I'm salty, said Waddo. I'm from Liver, Ohio. Welcome to gym, said the teacher. You can call me coach. Get ready for a the cardiovascular experience of your life. You're going to work hard. You're going to play hard. You'll be a part of a team and you'll push yourself harder than you ever have before. You'll be screaming in pain and sweating buckets. Oh, this sounds fun. I like you, kid. I like you too, coach. You want to take that coat off? No, thank you. All right, kids, listen up said Coach, blowing a whistle. Today we'll, be, today we'll be going outside for ultimate Frisbee. It's like football, except we're not allowed to play football, so we'll play it without the helmets and with flying discs instead. You all have to run your patooties off. I don't want to see anyone walking. Let's go. He blew a few more whistles and a few more times. The class jogged half-heartedly to a field behind the school. Sassy almost started sneezing when a beam of sunlight hit her nose through the front of the trench coat, but she swallowed and managed to stay quiet. Coach gave blue mesh pennies to half the class, blowing his whistle repeatedly and for no apparent reason. He pulled a frisbee out of a bag, blew his whistle three more times, and threw the frisbee to the blue team. 
Watto and Sassy had laser focus on that frisbee. They forgot about Sloppy Joe meat, about squirrels, and about saving Stuart from an evil overload. All they wanted was that frisbee. <laughs> the game started in earnest, with one blue team member flinging the frisbee to another. Just as it was about to be caught, Salty, racing as fast as Sassy could run, jumped into the air and caught it. Waddle chewed the plastic with satisfaction. <laughs> A kid on Salty's team yelled, Salty, here! What? said Waddle, and the frisbee fell out of his mouth. One of his teammates caught it. Sassy ran down the field and Waddle tried to yell but was so excited he just barked. No one seemed to notice. A kid from the other team got hold of the frisbee and she threw it high and wide. Everyone started running. Sassy got low and galloped and then at the perfect moment leapt high into the air where Watto again caught the frisbee in his mouth. Landing in the end zone, his team cheered. <laughs> it's kind of weird that you catch it with your mouth said Bax. It's not weird, said Waddle. That's how we do it in Liver, Ohio. You should try it. This kid right here is showing the kind of vim and vigor I want to see from all of you, said Coach, blowing his whistle for emphasis. Sprinting, leaping, diving. Why are you lying down now, kid? You should be pumped and roaring to go. <sighs> I'm tired, said Waddle. Are you going to barf, said Bax? No, thank you, said Waddo. That night, the dogs could barely get off the rug to eat their dinner. The pooches sure are zonked out today, said Stuart's dad. Well, I guess they got some exercise, said Stuart, smiling to himself. Oh? I got an email from Mrs. Tui today, said Stuart's mom. Oh, said Stuart. She said you all have been learning multiplication and that in history, you're going to start studying the American Revolution. Yep, said Stuart. She also said something about a big project. Oh yeah, big project, said Stuart. I love big projects, said Stuart's mom. Oh, you sure do, said Stuart's dad. You let me know if you want me to help, said Stuart's mom. I bet you're already done. Okay, said Stuart. Yeah, uh, may I be excused? Sure thing, buddy, said Stuart's father. Our boy, said Waddle and Sassy, barely awake, has a lot more to do on his project. I know, said Sassy. I can smell it. Me too. That was chapter 10. All right, stay tuned for chapter 11.